In example 5a, we will look at compound interest using the TBM solver. Sarah must take out a personal loan for $5,500 that she will pay back over the next nine years. She's given two loan options. QuickTime Loan offers the loan at an APR of 9.75% compounded annually. Great Midwest Bank is offering a lower APR of 9.5% compounded continuously. Which account should Sarah borrow from and how much interest will she save? Let's go ahead and compare the two accounts. Looking at the values for compounding annually, we have a present value or principal of $5,500. We have a rate of 9.75%. The time will be nine years and compounding periods will be one because we're compounding annually for the first loan. We want to solve for future value. Let's take a look at how to enter this into the TVM solver. Hit the apps button, then hit enter for finance and enter for TVM solver. In this example, the N will be the number of years, which is nine, times the number of compounding periods, which is one. So that gives us nine. The interest rate is 9.75%. The present value in this case is $5,500. There will be no payments and the future value is going to be skipped because we're going to solve for that. We want to change the payments per year and the compounding periods per year to be one for annual. And then arrowing back up to our future value, we want to solve by hitting alpha and enter. So in this case, the future value will be $12,705.84. Although using the formula might be easier, we can actually use the TVM solver to approximate the continuously compounding interest. We start up at N, and what we end up with is nine, we're gonna put in times a million for our compounding periods. Remember that we are compounding every second, every minute of every day. So this is just an approximation. We want to make sure, let's go down to payments per year and compounding per year, just to remember that in this case, we want the payments per year and compounding periods per year to be the same. So it should be a million here. Let's go up and fill in our interest rate, which in this case would be 9.5%. Present value is still negative 5,500. We'll arrow down to future value and solve for that by hitting alpha and enter. So when we continuously compound, we end up with $12,932.56 for the future value. So looking at a comparison between compounding annually and compounding continuously, we get a future value of $12,705.84 for compounding annually and a future value of $12,932.56 for compounding continuously. Therefore, the QuickTime loan offering the APR of 9.75% compounded annually is a better option. This will end up saving her approximately $226.72 in interest over the course of the loan.